for everybody. It's going to be update V1 for the power system for the Unreal Marketplace. Uh, basically, what we got here is power specific power switches. So let's say you got a door that you want to power not with the master power. You want to power it with uh, its own unique switch or button or whatever it is you have in your game. Well, now you could do that. You just drag in the master power switch and I'll show you in a second there's actually a boolean exposed called is master power switch check that defaults and then pick the target actors that you want it to power which is this little door and you're good to go but if you want fuses it also does that this one right now uses fuses so that brings us over to this part which is specific fuse boxes you have, uh, in my case, I made them red. You have red fuses and red fuse boxes, and they both target that specific switch over there. So they don't work with the other ones. They're unique. You can set a specific name called a fuse box name. I called these, I think, red fuse box. And you put the same name in the fuses, and it will prevent, it will be its own unique little system. So if I were to come over here and pick up a blue fuse, and try to stick it in this fuse box. I'm pressing F right now. Nothing's happening. They only go in the blue ones. You stick that in the blue one. Uh, you could pick up the red one and try to go stick it in the blue one. Nothing happens. I'm pressing F. They only work in the red ones. And you could pick up the other red one, stick it in there, and then it lets you flip on the power switch and your power specific door opens and closes. And if you don't believe me it's open right now. Well let's just it's closed right now. We'll go over here and turn on the master power switch which does not open the door. Lights and the door over there is open. This one's not. And you can see if I open this one those are still open. If I close this one those are still closed. And that's update V1 for the power system. Uh, now let's hop into the actual editor and I'll show you what I mean. Um, basically you could just drag the master power switch into your level and by default it's going to be set to a master power switch. So you want to uncheck this uh, right here. So this is master power switch. Make sure you uncheck that. Then you want to uh, click on the target actors to power here. There's a plus sign. Add the element and then you just click the little eyedropper here and click whatever you want to power in your level in this case I clicked this door right here you can target multiple out actors you can have one two three four five six however many you want and it'll this switch will turn all of those on and and then same thing up here if you want to use fuses just check it to true set the number of fuses and then you come over to the fuse boxes select them you got some default values here first give it a unique name I named it red fuse box and then make sure you check this box to true which is is specific fuse box check that and then do the same thing where you target your power switch you click the little plus sign you click the little eyedropper and in my case I wanted these fuses boxes to power this power switch so you just click the little eyedropper there to select it and you do the same with this one give it the same name give the same checkbox same uh, targets power switch and finally you have your switch or your fuse here you click it and all you have to do is make sure the fuse box name is the exact same as the fuse box so this is red fuse box so make sure it says red fuse box on both of these and it's all tied together and you can copy and paste these or drag these into your level you can have red fuse box, green fuse box, purple fuse boxes and they can all target different power switches and you can change all these models out for cooler meshes I don't have any cool meshes I'm not a 3D modeler but you can switch those out for cool things and the last but not least is the actual door that a door or whatever actor is being um, powered by a specific switch so if let me open up the default door and you'll see what it looks like. The default door has the event power event, which is what the master power switch powers. 
if you were to open up the your unique one you don't want it to be powered by the master power switch so you want to use this event it's called the event power specific actors event works the exact same as the other one it's just this one is for specific power switches so you just throw that into your level and connect it up and it's the same way as the master power it'll do when it's on you make it do whatever you want when it's off make it do whatever you want in this case it's a door so it's open when the power's on it's closed when the power's off and that is pretty much it that's how it all works um thanks for watching